All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the Windows on the World, which was a luxury restaurant located at the top of the North Tower. The Windows on the World was a complex of dining, meeting, and entertainment venues on the top floors, floors 106 and 107, the North Tower, which was the bigger tower or the tower with the antenna. Now, the dining complex on the 106th and 107th floors consisted of the Windows on the World, which was the bigger main restaurant, a smaller restaurant called the Wild Blue, a bar called the Greatest Bar on Earth, as well as a wine school and conference and banquet rooms for private functions located on the 106th floor. The restaurant initially opened on April 19th of 1976 and was closed indefinitely on September 11th of 2001 following 9-11. The entire restaurant complex was obviously destroyed during the collapse. Or actually, based on the way the North Tower fell, you could make an argument that as it was falling, because it, the restaurants, you know, the restaurant was that high up on the 107th floor... Theoretically, it might have been still together on the initial fall and then obviously gets completely destroyed when it hits the ground. All of the staff members who were present in the restaurant on the day of the attacks perished as escape was impossible from the 92nd floor or higher and it was a, not a fun experience, especially being on the higher floors, including the entire restaurant when it comes to September 11th. The plane that hit the North Tower made an impact as high as the 85th floor and with the extreme amount of toxic fumes within the World Trade Center after the initial impact, it rose up and, and covered the entire restaurant and you could see in different photos of smoke billowing out of the windows of the restaurant. Some of them were broken just so people could go out and, you know, get some actual air. I do have some different photos, just amazing views, obviously, for a restaurant to be located that high overlooking Manhattan. The main dining room faced north and east, allowing guests to look out onto the skyline of Manhattan. The dress code required jackets for men and was strictly enforced. A man who arrived with a registration but without a jacket was seated at the bar, so this was a very professional restaurant being inside the World Trade Center complex, inside the North Tower, a lot of business going on, a lot of meetings, you eat with people, you do deals, things like that. I'm sure there were a lot of long dinners inside of this restaurant, watching the sunset, overlooking the city, talking business. A more intimate dining room, the Wild Blue, was located on the south side of the restaurant. The bar extended along the south side of One World Trade Center, as well as the corner over part of the east side. Looking out from the bar through the full-length windows, one could see views of the southern tip of Manhattan, where the Hudson and East Rivers meet. In addition, one could see the Liberty State Park and Ellis Island, along with Staten Island as well. The kitchens, utility spaces, and conference center of the restaurant were all located on the 106th floor. Again, it occupied both the 106th and 107th floor. The main dining rooms were on the higher floor at 107. And through the internet archive, we were able to get several different variations of the Windows on the World restaurant webpage that was around in 2000 and 2001. There's several different records of this documented where they actually upgraded the webpage and made it a little bit better with like lights surrounding it if you look at like the different times from 2000 to 2001. But yeah, there is the actual webpage and you can see it gives off the times. It has a bunch of different information on it. This was the last archive I could find as close to 9-11. You can see August 15th, 2001. That was the de facto reserve date because that's when this was taken from the internet. And then the next one, the internet archive we had was in 2002. And you can see a, a very chilling thing there. Or, or that's actually October of 2001 not found. Obviously, uh, this site was taken down after the 9-11 disaster. And it is interesting, you know, you wonder, considering it is a restaurant, would it potentially reopen somewhere else in New York City? 
this restaurant was kind of centered around the idea that it was so high up. It was in a skyscraper. It was attached to the North Tower, One World Trade Center. So it didn't end up reopening anywhere. And that's kind of goes to the whole name of it, like being so high up. The food, from the critics that I've seen, it seems like the food was decent. But it was you weren't really going to this restaurant for the food it was certainly more so the experience, the amazing view, and the, just the uniqueness of being on the 107th floor of the World Trade Center looking out at the sunset or the sunrise or whenever it was. That was the whole idea of it. Now, when it comes to the detailed situation of this restaurant in regards to 9-11, the morning of September 11th, the restaurant was hosting regular breakfast along with a financial technology congress when the plane struck the building beneath the restaurant at approximately 8.46 a.m. Eastern Time. Everyone present in the restaurant unfortunately did perish, and when it comes to potentially surviving something like this, would there be a possible way? Considering the situation in the North Tower with the plane impacting directly in the middle and both of the wings of the plane going as far out to cut off all of the stairways, outside of having some type of parachute or something or being able to somehow break open the lock and get to the roof and, you know, cling to a helicopter, there's really no way to survive something like this. It's basically impossible. And we also have to understand a lot of people don't really realize just how bad the smoke was. We, you know, 99.9% .9 of us have never breathed in true, horrifically bad toxic fumes like those people were. So I'm sure they were completely overwhelmed and the entire situation went from a very peaceful morning to the worst possible outcome in a matter of minutes. And it's very hard to process something like that. But just in general, really, the only thing you can do is break open the uh, windows to to the restaurant and try and get some actual natural airflow into your lungs and, and try and just use your survival instinct, but it, it's a terrible situation for sure. And then obviously we know after that windows on the world, it was destroyed and, and you could, you know, make an argument that it was the worst, the, the last thing. Well, actually, technically it wouldn't be the last thing that was destroyed because the antenna probably would have been the last they've actually saved parts of the antenna it's really beat up but they've saved some of it to the north tower you can make an argument that windows on the world because of the way the building fell and the fact that it was last to hit the ground it would be like the last big thing that survived when it comes to the world trade center complex because it was basically like the highest point in terms of where it was located on the 107th floor. I mean, there were floor above, there were floors above that, but they were mainly mechanical floors. Uh, it was like the highest floor that was open to the public when it comes to that. And then the South Tower, of course, collapsed before the North. So you could say, well, Windows on the World was the last thing intact as it cascaded down to the Earth. It, it's something to think about. And just taking a look at some of these photos that were taken in 2000 and 2001. Some very eerie images, I will say. You can see the restaurant and kind of the banquet, the dining hall, where they hosted the bigger events with a bunch of chairs stacked up with the sunset outside, with the pantated, you know, World Trade Center windows. You can see those things from a mile away, just those skinny little things. Uh, and, and then like the bathrooms as well, along with the elevator area with all of those potted plants. I mean, this is just... I mean, this was the 1980s, the 1990s. This was all that era. Considering both the towers went down in 2001, there was really no remodeling that could have been done. Obviously, at this point, if the towers would have remained, they would have gone through multiple iterations of remodeling. But considering, I mean, it's just the 90s era. That's what, you know, the interior of things looked like in the 1990s. And there's some pretty crazy photos of it overall and there's also an image that is not confirmed but it is the sunrise possibly a restaurant worker taking this photo on the morning of September 11th the sunrise on September 11th although judging from the fogginess of the sun I have my doubts this was actually taken then considering September 11th was extremely clear. We all know that in the morning. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.